So we look for four things, okay? Four things in order to take the trade. Quick disclaimer that this is just how I see the markets. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any securities. It is a very important thing to understand. Patterns themselves mean nothing if they are not located in the right place, all right? So the candles are not showing us anything unless they are located in the right place, okay? So, so we can see the resistance right here. We can see the resistance here. The market was climbing up, so it was bullish, okay? It was not on a first attempt able to pass this price, so which was 28.78. Then it went sideways here, and then attempted again from this area to break this level again, was not able to, okay? Then it came back again, created this beautiful piercing pattern or tweezer bottom, so however you wanna call it, as long as you understand how it works, okay? Which is two candles equal in size, okay? So on the resistance level, all right? One is a bearish candle. What the second one is right away bullish candle, okay? And when this bullish candle closes at least 70% into the bearish candle, we can see that the bulls are coming into play and this is basically called a piercing line because this candle is basically piercing through this move. The bears were in control for a while. And now the bulls are taking over with the same strength as the bears had up until now. Why the bulls are strong at this point of time? The reason why? Because it's a good point. And this point is called resistance, okay? So this is a support and this is a resistance, okay? So these bulls here, this white candle here showed up after this blue candle here right on this support level after this one, two attempts to break down and then a third attempt, bulls came in with this kind of a pattern and once the candle was broken on top, we had our bullish movement. Market took off and after a couple of fights between the bulls and bears, bulls won. We broke this level, the bulls close the price above this level so the full on candle so we have something like this this was the resistance the price was closed by bulls on the other side of the resistance and the market just took off okay so that's how it works this is how you read these patterns okay same thing when we came down here so we came to this level we stalled once we stalled twice market broke and this candle closed on the other side. The market closed on the other side. So this resistance broke up, broken again and price was closed on the other side. Bears in their last attempt to push the price down tried to do it. They closed the price below, but the bulls in the next session created this beautiful engulfing candle and price closed once again, confirming to us that the market is ready to move on and the market did move on up until this point here, which is $31, okay? Once we came to this level, we know from before that this was a resistance. This was a resistance, which was really hard to break. This was a resistance for about five months in a row, okay? Market came here, broke up until $31, but the bullish move was not strong enough to keep the price above this line. We created this beautiful, beautiful pin bar that took us down again back to this level here, okay, which is right here. Now we are sitting on this support level, and what we are what we are seeing that's happening on the on the on the chart, right? We are creating this beautiful bullish pin bar again, telling us that the, this level is being rejected. The bears are not able to close the price below this level here and if this candle in two days and 20 hours closes like this we have a pattern to move on to our next level which is 28 78 29 dollars area so from 24 to 29 that's a five dollar gain uh 
just reacting on this candle. So this is what's happening right now on Air Canada. Uh, we have to be patient again. Once again, the only thing that you have to learn from this by just, uh, you know, besides the learning how to read these patterns or candles uh, is the patience. You have to learn patience. That's a key thing in everything, okay? We have to learn patience here, and I'm going to show you how this actually works. Take a look at this chart here, okay? Just take a look at this chart. This is, this is telling you everything. So we can see from here, take a look. We had a trend. Trend was to the upside. So we look for four things, okay? Four things in order to take the trade, all right? One, and the number one is the trend. We have to have a trend, okay? So then we find support and we find the resistance level, okay? Take a look how when the price reaches this resistance level, creates this beautiful pin bar and the market just drops, okay? And then we go sideways and we go sideways. And then we reject this level here, which is support, once, twice, three times. On a third attempt, we create this beautiful engulfing bar, okay? This beautiful engulfing bar takes us to this level here again. Bulls are not in full control because eventually they are not able to close the price above this level and the bears create this again pin bar. Once the bottom was broken, the bears took control and the market took the dive. Okay, then we have this last move from the bears attempting to close the price below and they did and then in the next session bulls take over again create this beautiful engulfing bar that engulfs the previous bar this one here okay and they take the market to the upside all right they're you know they were kind of shy here closing in on the other side then it was fight between the bulls and bears Bears take over one month, bulls take over one month, bears take over one month, and then finally full bodied. So you can look at the wick on the top of this candle here, it closes above all these candles here. Okay, and this candle is actually telling us that the bulls are now full in control. They close the price above the above this level here, and once the top of this candle was broken, okay. That was your entry level into this market and the market just takes off. What it does basically after that is this. We have the candle that took us all the way to here to 3550 area, which is right here, okay? So look at the bottom, look at the top of the candle, okay? Then we have an inside bar. Then we have even smaller inside bar, which creates this asymmetrical triangle, which means that once the price closes above of, of this uh, uh, asymmetrical triangle on the lower time frame, not on a monthly chart, on a lower time frame, we have another entry. So if we have something like this, this is symmetrical triangle, okay? We have a price that's contained. So there's one candle here, and then there's one candle here, and then smaller which means that the price is being squeezed. And then finally, it can either break to the downside, okay? Or it can break to the upside, okay? If it breaks to the upside and closes the price above, okay? That's your signal to go long, to buy into this market. If the price closes below this, that's your signal that the market is, is ready to move on down below and uh, eventually uh, reaches some kind of a support level where we can look for I mean, another bullish candle to give us an opportunity to jump into this market. Okay, so there we go. So now we went to this level here. Okay, so we are at this level here and then we create this, this candle here. The uh, bulls are totally in control. Then you have an inside bar, inside bar and then the market breaks above this candle you can see the wick broken and the market takes us even higher there okay and then we created this candle okay and this candle has an inside bar and then for the market to turn the bears finally create this huge pin golfing bar pin golfing bar or engulfing bar with a huge tail right here engulfing one two candles from before Basically, two months of trading were covered with this candle here. And once that candle closed, 
the market just fell. Okay, this was a COVID time. Uh, however, this kind of a pat pattern, you know, repeats itself on many, many charts. Okay, so you are you finally starting to see this picture? Then we went sideways. Okay, we went sideways. We know that this is a huge resistance because it used to be a support right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. So we know from before, from the past, that this was used to be a huge resistance. Now, uh, pardon me, support. Now it's a resistance. Okay, market cannot break the ceiling. That's why it's called resistance. And when they when we we talk about support, that means the market cannot break the floor that's why it's support because you're standing on the floor right so you're not able to break through this floor and when you're trying to go up basically this is a ceiling right it's a resistance market closed above again the bears tried to push the price there we can see that this candle here basically um, created another um, bullish move right there okay because right away you know engulfed the previous candle and then we came to the certain point again we created this beautiful sell bar or a pin bar from this uh, resistance and then we had went sideways and now we know this is support and this candle that's being developed at this point of time again is telling us that this is the level where the bulls are located the buyers are located at this level and they want to get into this market again Okay, so this candle, if it closes the way it is, we have another signal from the buyers that they're ready to jump into the trade and move the market to the upside. And this is how you read the markets. Number one, we have to have a trend. Okay, market has to have a trend. All right, it has to have a certain direction. And we do have it from left to right. If we look at it here, the bulls are in control, okay? So market is to the upside, okay? That's number one. Number two, we have to have an area where the market is going to bounce. These candles, like these, these kind of a candles, these, these patterns mean nothing. They mean shit to you unless they are located at the area where we are interested into getting into the market. So if this candle, candle like this developed here below this resistance, it actually means nothing. It means nothing because it's not sitting on this level here. Okay. So these candles, you cannot read them as signals unless they develop at a certain areas. That's why we need the support and resistance. And that's why number two, we need support or resistance area for us to make a decision if this signal is valid for it, to, for us to jump into the trade or not. In order to read this signal to jump, jump into the trade, we have to be sitting and testing this support at this point of time because we are trying to go long. So that's number two. Number three, we have to have a signal. So number three is a signal, okay? And the signal is this candle that's being developed at this point of time. So we have number one, which is a trend. We have number two, which is support, which this candle is basically rejecting. Okay, and number three, now we have a signal, which is this candle itself. If it develops two days and 19 hours, then we're going to be sure that the buyers are in play and they want to take the tra trade to the upside. Okay, so now once the candle closes, okay, we have to see where the price is sitting. Uh, at the moment here, it will be like a 24, around 25 area. Okay, from there, from there on, we have to calculate how much space do we have from the top of that candle to the first target. First target is around here, $28.78, $29. This candle took us to $29. This candle took us to $31. All right. So do you have enough space to jump from here for your, uh, uh, for your trade to be valid for you to take? Okay. Do you have enough space? Are you being able to make enough money? by jumping into this trade. That's the last thing that we have to have. And that's called a risk reward ratio. Okay. Risk over reward 
ratio okay so that's number four that we're looking for in trading which means that if this is your starting point here with this candle right there if you put your stop here and your entry right here is it enough money made for you to go up to here risking this whole candle here money wise to gain this much so if this candle started here which is $23 almost this is a $23 if you jump in at 25 so that's $2 risk that's a $2 risk to gain for our first target is a $29 so from 25 to 29 $4 from 25 to 29 is four dollars so you're basically risking two dollars here on this candle to make four dollars okay so that's two to one risk reward ratio okay and if that works in your favor and you think that this is good enough you jump into trade you have all four things working for you that's the trade you want to take that's basically how it works you can also take one over one like he, some people risk, you know, one, two dollars to gain two dollars. You know, it's totally up to you. You know how you want. Like I, when I when I choose uh, my trades, I choose two to one. I need to have at least uh, two dollars to make over one dollar risking. Okay, so that's basically what it means to have all four things working for you. So once again, we need to have a trend, which is number one. We need to support or resistance area, which is number two. We have three, which is signal, okay, which is a signal. And number four is a risk reward ratio. I hope you find this video very interesting and you're learning something with me at the moment. This is how I see Air Canada. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for taking time to learn something about trading and not blindly jumping into into the markets and uh, thank you for all my subscribers thank you for everybody watching my video and i will talk to you soon you take care and and have a wonderful week trading this is sasha peace out